Welcome back. It's time now for Health Watch. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. According to a 2024 data ranking, Louisiana is the most stressed out state. Our dietitian Courtney Butts is here now to break down foods that can actually help our mental health. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're very stressed out in the state of Louisiana. Tell and if me you about remember it. two weeks ago we did talk about foods that may trigger anxiety or make anxiety worse. Mm -hmm. So today we're talking about ways to enhance your diet with really rich foods that are nutrient dense that can actually help ward off the anxiety okay. or at least make you feel a little bit more calm. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, so a big thing before we get into the examples is to maybe you know not skip meals and focus on a really good balance. So protein, fiber, and anti-inflammatory fats. That kind of is really soothing for your digestive system so you're not increasing your blood sugar level really high after eating something that's really carbohydrate rich or sugar rich and then it plummets and you're feeling oh, shaky yeah. and you know just kind of makes you feel icky all, <laughs> that is all the over. Worst so, feeling. <laughs> yeah so we'll start with the antioxidant rich foods so these foods you know it's pretty self-explanatory really natural looking foods that you know you find in the produce section so beans nuts and seeds and berry, any kind of berry is gonna be really rich in antioxidants. And so okay. antioxidants, we kind of flippantly throw that word around. Basically it's, and, uh, it's a phytochemical, it fights off cancer, it fights off diseases. Um, and it also, there's actually studies that have been linked that if you have a low antioxidant diet, then you have an increased risk for anxiety. Oh, so, okay. Focusing on antioxidants, really just plant foods. Fair, but <laughs> at least berries and things like that are kind of sweet. So yeah. if you're craving that little sweet, you can just and pop a berry in. a honey crisp apple. We all love honey crisp apples, and that's a good source of antioxidants as well. Those so, are the best. Yeah, <laughs> and so we'll transition to some supplements. So ginger and curcumin are also rich in antioxidants as well. You can take that in supplement form. And then your probiotic options. We've talked about these before. So we've got <laughs> kefir and a probiotic that's in a pill form or kombucha. These are, you know, the things that you would ingest, your kombucha and your kefir, or even fruits and vegetables are also prebiotics. So you're just establishing good gut bacteria. And there have been several studies that say, you know, if you feed your gut bacteria with good nutritious foods, then you have a little bit more of a balance when it comes to your brain. So okay. you know, things like anxiety and depression. So it can help with that too. Um, so chamomile, I don't know if you've ever tried chamomile yes. before bed. Yeah. It's so relaxing. Yeah, and so that's a great anti-anxiety supplement that you can incorporate maybe before bed if you have a hard time falling asleep. That's a great option. Or maybe if during the day if you feel like that could help as well. So Okay. Other foods. So, uh, you know, we mentioned low anti antioxidant diet is typically indicative of a, a more anxious maybe person. Mm -hmm. um, so also low magnesium diet, low B vitamin diet or low zinc diet could also, or low omega-3 diet. And these are all foods that are high in those things. So okay. the diets that are low in those nutrients can actually increase your risk for anxiety or feelings of anxiety. So, you know, you've gotcha. got your salmon, your olive oil, your nuts and your seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, oats, whole grains, avocados, and asparagus actually has been seen to be a functional food that is anti-anxiety. So, okay. and it's it, it works with if you just eat asparagus or if you use asparagus extract, maybe if you add that to like a smoothie or something, mm. then that also helps too. So, and the, all of these foods help to increase serotonin and dopamine, which are hormones that are released in your brain that decrease your anxiety. That is so neat. It's yeah. cool to learn about how things that you eat and just mm -hmm. your physical health overall can impact your mental health. Yeah, it's all interconnected. <laughs> so, yeah, your gut and your brain, they're, they're very much, if one is out of, out of balance, then the other probably is too. Okay, so. and if people want to suggest a topic for you, how do they reach you? Yeah, I, I would love to hear from you. And if you have a question or topic, just send us an email at pressreleases at ktbs.com. Thanks, Courtney.